two two part question here because I wanted you talked about you know working with producers and um, and and making the best product for the end goal of the musician. Um, and then I, I also want to talk about you know, the musicians you're looking for because I think that'll be really interesting to, to, for musicians to, to know what how to present themselves. But um, so I just I wanted to kind of say them out loud so I didn't forget where I wanted to go with that. But um, how would you actually let's let's define that let's second part first. So what are these things that you're looking for in these musicians as the, as they grow so that you know musicians that because I I let me back step a second sec, really because I, I love your mentality and I have a very similar mentality and um, people told me forever that it's impossible you're never going to go anywhere and now that I've started to get some traction I've proven it wrong to some degree and I'm not like hey screw you you know like I'm like hey I did it and you can too it, ju it just sucked probably 10 times more than people said it was going to you know what I mean? So I'm like, if you want to do it, it'll suck. It'll take forever. You know, I thought I was be playing like uh, with Madison Square Garden in like three years. Well, like I'm not, you know, yet. <laughs> but like, if you're willing to be patient enough, like it can happen too. So like, I highly relate to that, what you're saying. And um, part of these, the, the reason I do these interviews is I want to sh like hear the stories of other musicians and artists and people in the industry that um, can inspire other artists to do similar things and kind of give them the trajectory. Uh, so that being said, what are things that you are looking for so musicians can kind of project themselves to be like, oh, I can work on that, I can try that, I can try to get to that level? I think the key is, hey, I think songs are the most important thing. Like if you have like a really, really good song, that's something that'll show through in any production mm. context. For me, that's one thing I look for. Another thing I look for is that they have a good team, right? So it doesn't matter how good of an artist you are. If, if you are if you have like a toxic relationship with the people that you work with or your managers or producers or whatever or aren't, aren't at a stage in your career where you're ready to collaborate, again, whether it would be with a manager or with a producer or with like a, an A&R team or, or a marketing team, then that's something that can kind of hold you back. Um, and so really, it's about looking for artists who are committed to what they're doing and are putting themselves in positions where they can succeed. Mm. It's, it's who, who is out there hustling in a way that is dependable and is sustainable uh, and will put them in a position to win, you know? Um, it's about finding artists who are willing to help themselves. I think mm -hmm. in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. That is, I agree with that because I think, to, to some degree, to add on to that, I think that when the help themselves is like almost like make it happen themselves. Because so many, so many artists, you know, even even the people that I kind of reach out to me, you know, are like they're looking for a hand up kind of thing and it's like and it's like i want to help but it's also like you're not making it easy to help you know like you want to collab but like you want me to record everything you want me to write the song and you want to sing in the song it's like that's like not it's like a 91 to 10 percent split like if you like help yourself make it easy for these people like like go the 90 percent be like hey you know like just an example like Here's 90% of a song. Do you want to just track your vocal, like you know, like as a collaborative I, I kind of concept? But it's like you know, making it, making the way for themselves, kind of thing. Like, or not even trying to do the collab, just trying to make it on their own. It's, so I agree. I absolutely agree with that. That kind of. Oh, what were you gonna say? You, you, I also want to say that as an artist too, it, it is not only like the most accessible time for people that you know you don't need a label to, to, to fund an album there are so many people who've done albums on, on shoestring budget for singles that have to do very well and so understanding I, I, I also just want to say that as an artist like there's so much pressure on you and it, that it, there's something to be said for the perseverance that it takes to be you know and so yeah you're looking for artists who can help themselves but it, it, it takes so much courage to put yourself out there like that and to be ready to take opportunities that they present themselves to you. You know, it meant like, as far as like mental health goes and just being able to consistently deliver. I mean, there's just so much pressure on artists these days and I, I, wanna, I wanna know how difficult it is to, to go down that path and recognize um, how much effort it takes and how well a lot of artists are able to manage. Mm. So that's all. 
Absolutely. No, it's it's absolutely true. I couldn't remember. Absolutely.